We wanted to give you a little bit of a chance to talk a little bit about how you got involved in the show and maybe some of your experiences from the show. Oh, sure. Happy to. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me. It's, uh, it's an honor. And uh, I appreciate it very much. I, uh, I, I, was, I was a working actor at the time. And uh, I was sent up to, for a part on some, something called Emergency, which hadn't really gone in the area. And uh, I, I didn't think much about it. About it. And uh, so suddenly I get cast in the show. find yourself in some kind of precarious situations trying to deal with some of the rescues that they were wanting you to perform as an actor? Not for once. Not for once. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, you can have a seat. Find a chair. It's too bad because I'd like to be our real rescue. <laughs> I didn't know if they maybe had some scenes that didn't quite go the way they expected. And well, they might have they had, had such scenes, but it didn't affect us at all. Oh, okay. We just went to work every day. And it was, uh, you know, I was an actor, and I was great having a job. Mm -hmm. And since I was portraying a real fireman, it's kind of exciting. And I liked that a lot. Well, I have to say, your show was one of the ones that actually I could believe because they didn't do a lot of the stuff that they do nowadays when they're acting in these fire shows and stuff that are just completely ridiculous <laughs> and, and not even remotely real. Um, you know, a lot of the scenes that you guys did, you know, were really, looked like real drama, rescues, and, and things like that. It was very they well done. It that way. They shot it like that, so uh, the whole idea was to confuse us. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought we were real firemen. <laughs> These guys think they're real firemen, so play along with the gang. <laughs> well, you had some real firemen on the crew, right? Not on the crew. There was, uh, well, actually there was. 
one of the actors was actually a real fireman, Mike Stoker. Yeah. And uh, he just, I guess they cast him because they wanted somebody who was a real fireman. <laughs> Most of us can, can fake it all right. <laughs> Stand around, look business like it. How do you feel about working with a bunch of actors trying to be fireman? <laughs> well, he, he was a good guy. And uh, he's blazed it with everybody else. <laughs> he was happy to have an acting job. Michael? Why don't you tell them how many of the scripts you wrote? Well, I, I wrote four of them. And uh, that was fun. Uh, the most fun of all was getting to produce the, the episodes I wrote. Because uh, as an actor, you really have nothing much to say about anything. You just show up and do your work. And uh, as a producer, you do the same thing. You show up and do your work. And what was the point of what I was saying? <laughs> I think it had something to do with control. Oh, I suppose, yes. Because <laughs> you were the producer, who at least had that there was an idea that you were in charge, whether you were or not. And, uh, so that was kind of fun. Enjoyed that. I enjoyed the whole experience. How many years were you on the show? About five. That was a pretty good gig then. Yeah, you bet you could have <laughs> <laughs> decided it felt like an acting job or a regular job. And I guess it felt like it was, a, it was definitely an acting job, but we were playing real characters. So it wasn't very much about it that it felt actorish. You just showed up and worked as fireman. That was fun. So it's sort of like a boyhood dream come true? Uh, not really. <laughs> I didn't have my boyhood dreams. <coughs> what did I want to be? I'm <laughs> oh, a fireman, I didn't know. <laughs> 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 I didn't yet know how much work it was. <laughs> See, you went right in as a captain, so you didn't have to do all that. <laughs> I figured that I was doing any job. Oh! <laughs> Both guys pretty sharp. Just going to pick up the captain. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. What are the different colors and things up there? Well, the white is officer, blue is EMS, the red is a lower ranking officer, and depending on where you're at, yellow can be your basic firefighter, or around here, black is typically your basic firefighter. Non-interior or exterior. Yeah. What's the, what's the yellow around here? Uh, a probie, yeah, mm. rookie. <laughs> and then you have other ones over there, like the yellow one that's over there is from England, and the black one right beside it is from Canada. Yeah. 
perhaps are more colorful. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't move very fast. He's really very tall. 